Hello there and welcome. My name is Sunshine Amos, the CEO and Project Manager, Sunshine Resources. In this video, I will explain to you the difference between SLS and Texapom in soap making. But before then, if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing so that you get posted of all our videos and resources each time we upload them. Now, SLS and Texapom are chemicals of the same chemical substance. The difference between them lies in their physical properties. SLS is solid like rice grain while Texapon is jelly-like. In terms of functionality, Texapon, when used in dishwash, has the ability to dissolve oils and remove them. It is ideal in dishwash. In our video on how to make liquid soap, I did say that we should not use the two of them at the same time. Now let me draw an analogy similar to that. Now, supposing you want to cook food and you want to use 10 cubes of food seasoning in your food. Seasoning here refers to Maggi cubes, Nor cubes or Royco. They are all food seasoning cubes. Now you are requested to use only 10 cubes for any of them that you want. It means that if you want to use Maggi, it has to be 10 cubes. If you want to use Royco, it has to be 10 cubes. Or you want to use Nor, it has to be 10 cubes. But maybe you realize that combining two types of the seasoning gives your food a special taste. Maybe combining Maggi cubes and Royco gives your food a special taste. So what do you do? Are you going to use 10 cubes of Maggi and 10 cubes of Royco at the same time making 20 cubes of food seasoning? Your food will go bad. This is what you do. You take 5 cubes of Maggi and 5 cubes of Royco together if you want to use Maggi and Royco making 10 cubes of combined seasoning. The same thing applies to Texapon and SLS. If you want to use 100 grams of Texapon in a soap production, for example, and you want to use SLS at the same time, it is therefore paramount that instead of using 100 grams of Texapon, you can now use 50 grams of Texapon and 50 grams of SLS. Together, you have 100 grams of combined Texapon and SLS. Do you understand what I'm saying here? Now, supposing you want to use 40 gram of SLS, then you have to use 60 gram of Texapon. If you want to use 30 gram of SLS, then you have to use 70 gram of Texapon. I hope you understand what I'm saying here. At the end of the day, the two of them would definitely add up to 100 gram. That is what I mean by ratio. Okay? So thank you very much for watching and God bless you. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can visit our website on www.sunshineresources.org.ng. You can visit our YouTube channel on youtube.com forward slash our Sunshine Resources SRTV. You can also follow us on our Facebook page at Sunshine Resources. Thank you very much for watching and God bless you.